Today, Navy sailors joined forces with NASA to help in the final testing for Orion, America's newest spacecraft. Now, to quote Star Trek, it will go where no man has gone before, deep into space. 10 News military reporter Bob Lawrence with the critical role a San Diego warship will have on its deployment. The base station back here is actually going to be where we bring it in and cradle it. Senior Chief Justin Miller on board USS San Diego is talking about this. America has a new spacecraft. NASA is once again planning to go into space, but well beyond what it did before. We want to go out to places we've never been, like Mars, um, you know, maybe experience some things on an asteroid that we've never done before, and just learn more about our solar system and our planet. But when Orion comes back, NASA will take a page out of its past. Like the Apollo capsules, Orion will splash down in the ocean. That's where USS San Diego comes in. The way we used to recover the Apollo capsules was via helicopter. Well, the new, the new capsules are heavier and larger, and so the helicopter isn't an option. The San Diego, like its sister ship, the Green Bay, seen here last May, can lower itself in the water. The idea is to guide the Orion capsule into the ship's well deck, capture it, and then pump the water out. That's what NASA and the Navy are doing, literally writing the book on how to get that done. The idea was recently tested with another ship, but waters were calm and the ship was docked. The test off San Diego will be in open water. And while manned Orion flights are still years away, from an astronaut's perspective. And hopefully we can get there sooner rather than later. The first at-sea recovery test on board USS San Diego is scheduled for next February. And if all goes well, the first flight of Orion is scheduled for September 2014. Bob Lawrence, 10 News, Naval Base San Diego. And rockets built in San Diego helped launch America into space. The last recovery of a capsule at sea by the Navy was in 1975.